Me and my brother back in action, man, on the yeah. director's cheers, man. We back, my boy. You know, man, it's been a minute, man. Live Hip Hop Daily, you know, it's kind of, t- I'm tired, man. God damn, boy. Bro, we is over here struggling. You know what I'm saying, man? But we here. You know, DJ Larry Love, you know, Coalition DJ Vito, man. It's cracking, bro. It's been, this, it's been a minute, man. My dog done ran his status up in the city, man. Introduce Slip. yourself to the world, man. Let What's know going on, to, man? man? Jelani. I'm Jelani Will, man. Jelani underscore Will on Instagram, Southside Clayton County, where they found me. I like that, That's man. Me. <laughs> I like that. Rapping. I like hustling, that. Hustling. I like that. Working. The, we we get a lot of Southside artists in here, yeah, man. Yeah, man. You know, for for you know, for people that's not from Atlanta, Georgia, that's tuned in, man. You know, they said the Southside is, is the studio babies of the city. You know what I'm saying? Like it's I a lot it. of it's I, a lot of uh I can big concur. names yeah. that come from the South Side. We just talking about Waka, Two Chains. Um, shit. I'll, Southside breed them, huh? Yeah, Southside breed. You know, they, they breed. I guess they breed a different type of vibe. You Definitely. Know what I'm Hell yeah. And, uh, like that. So, with you saying, with me saying that, how long? Because we met back in 2019. 19. I 19. thought it was 18. I thought it was before 19. Yeah, no, but it was 19. It was 19, and you was yeah. doing your thing. You know what yeah, you said? yeah. You said it was yeah. at the bakery, right? Yeah, the bakery. Yeah, word, yeah, 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 man. What, what project was that? Can you remember at the time? Uh, it was 30 and broke. 30 and broke. Yeah, man. You gave me the broke shirt. Yeah, I did. It, it was, was a whole different shirt. vibe then, bro. Like, I was <laughs> I was struggling. I see the branding. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, dope. Yeah. I'm going to look at a broke nigga shirt like. Facts. You said it said broke. Broke. Yeah. And you broke. know what's crazy? Like, one of my uncles was like, man, you, you shouldn't have that shit on the shirt, man. Like, you know, you speaking at it to existence. And I'm like, uh, like, this broke shirt done made me some bands, bro. It's like an oxymoron. Like, I'm broke. Oxymoron. But I'm Perfect. making money exactly. off of that shit, bro. Like, yeah. chill like out, it. bro. I Don't like hate, that. nigga. I like <laughs> that. I like that. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, reason yeah. I like it, bro, because I'm, t- you know, a lot of these artists come out, they come out like they already $100,000. Y'all yeah, niggas come out with $50,000 chains on already, a Rolex on. Like, damn, nigga, you trying to get on already? Come, come or on. You, what are you doing? You know what I'm right. saying? So, so to come out, with the oxymoron being, like, I'm trying to make it. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's more of a hunger. It's a val. It, it, it speaks volumes. It did, man. And then I, I really, um, you know, I was just grateful for that time, man. And um, it, it helped me build a brand. It helped me build a, a, a solid fan base, man. And a nigga ain't broke no more. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. Nigga ain't broke no more. Nigga coming up, bro. Right, right, right. right, right. <laughs> I like that. I so like w- that. was you a was you an athlete turned rapper? I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was, man. But it was like. I always battled both. Um, I grew up listening to, you know, my dad put music in front of me at a young age, but a nigga was just big, you know, athletic, fast. So I took the, I took I took the, the ball route, but I came back to the to the route, man. Yeah. yeah. And um, in college, bro, like you know, I was pledging the frat, K side, whatever. Yeah. And I remember pledging, like you know, what I'm saying them niggas was like shit. Either y'all niggas going them niggas thought they could freestyle. Yeah. So they was like, either y'all gonna freestyle or it's gonna be what it is. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, fuck that. Yeah. Let me try this rap shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I used to rap with my line brothers, and they would make me like I started getting good with it. Yeah. And one of my line brothers was like, bro, you need to run with this. Like, right. do something with it. Right. Right. And um, shit, this. I'm that's here a, now. That's dope. <laughs> that's dope. That's dope. Real that's hard. talk. That's hard. Yeah. So did you uh, you know what I'm saying? Cause you don't got the whole trap nigga look. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. The dread. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what did you choose? Cause I said your last video, you had a motherfucking preacher's robe. Yeah, on. man, I you did, man. I um, I, you know, I was in, uh, what influenced me the most, bro? Like, I'm, I'm from that live mixtape era, man. Mm, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That 2011, 2012, double XL when uh, yeah. the freshman cover with Kate, Kendrick Lamar, and Crit. Meek Mill and Matt Miller was all on that. So them guys influenced me the most. J. Cole. Okay. Like those are the influences I came from. But you know, um, in this area it's a little different. So it's just like, you know, I'm trying to adapt to that new Atlanta sound, but bring the same thing I kinda came up on mm. and you know, and, and just kinda like mm. make a collab between both, man. Yeah. You know, just staying true to myself because I don't sell drugs. I know niggas that do. Yeah. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the South Side. Right. <laughs> but, but it's, I just but it's took good you route. stand true. You gotta yeah. stay true to yourself. Definitely. That's what make you an authentic rapper. I mean, authentic authentic artist. I don't call you no rapper. Definitely, artist, man. man. And then also, man, I got kids too, bro. So they yeah. watching me, dog. Right. So That's at hard. the end of the day, it's like my legacy's bigger than rap, yeah, man. Shit, yeah. my little niggas, they look, man, you know, my got a son, bro, he he in middle school now. My yeah. daughter running track, she she just turned 10, bro. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So it's just like, they conscious of, oh, my dad does this. Yeah, you know? yeah. I'm telling my friends this. Yeah. I can't be out here fucking around. Nah, yeah. that's real shit, that's <laughs> real, real shit. Talk, yeah. And, and, and when, the, when the shit's in you, it's in you, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. You know what I mean? It's And I think a lot of artists, is they look for that quick fix or that yeah. quick get on, Yeah. but you gotta put in that, like, it's different now. Like yeah. I just said, yo, pandemic was a reset, my nigga. Like the yeah, pandemic, it, it, it created 
a, a level, new level ground. You know what I'm saying? We were just, Vito was just talking about showcases. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Before we got on camera. You know what I'm mm. saying? Like, how you feel about, and this is for you, my nigga, like, how you feel about like, what, what do artists have to do to get personally owned now? Like what's the new getting on, you know what I'm saying, method? It seems mm-hmm. like the new getting on method is more so like how you have the broke shirt. Right. Gimmicky. Gimmicky, yeah. Gimmick things, doing right. something Facts. stupid. Let's, right. let's go smack somebody in Lennox Mall or yeah. right. snatch a chain and run away and some stupid shit. Right. I think we got to get back to the foundation Facts. to creatives helping people create yeah. facts yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. i hate the way this shit is me and him was like we, we was talking about it yeah and i woke up this morning with a with a with a with a brick on my chest like yeah. that shit on me so hard yeah like, yeah we got to change this shit bro you got to you got to you know what i'm saying you know and this it's, it starts with the artists and the djs for Definitely. sure you know what i'm saying and um with me saying that i, I remember and you get real com- you get real comments bro I, I was checking i remember seeing one of your clips yeah that you was like performing and the crowd just kind of took over yeah you know you couldn't even finish the shit, yeah you know what I'm saying? that's yeah. real love yeah you know what it saying? is bro you know what yeah. i mean so how what, what was that what was that um bro i did a show like you know i said like um, i'm from atlanta but i lived in columbus for a stint of time man okay. a matter of fact and honestly bro columbus georgia kind of helped me mold my rap career and I remember being down there, man, and I I, I uh, resort back to the frat, man. One of my one of my Kappa brothers was like, bro, you know, I know you rap, you from Atlanta, but you in Columbus right now, nigga. Okay. You need to goddamn get out here, roll some elbows. Yeah, like politics. This is where you at? Right. You got now. a politics. So I did that. I didn't have any connections down there beside my baby mama, bro. Okay. I ain't. I don't have no family down there, so I just started like sending out messages to people. And people started telling me where to go. Yeah. And I was doing that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I gained respect. That's hard. You know what I'm saying? Just like that. And I'm like, shit, they don't know me from a can of paint. That's hard. You know what I'm saying? That's so hard. If this gonna work down here, nigga. I can do this shit everywhere else. That's real. So I did that show where people was chanting that shit in Columbus. Yeah. I always go back there. Yeah. Because when I do a show down there, people come out. That's real. You That's know dope. what I'm saying? That's real. So I did the show. The song was Camera Crazies. And um, you're talking about you know balling like I play for Duke, yeah, and they just they love that shit, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they took over that damn song. That was hard. And like the whole show was that, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But even it, songs they didn't know. Right. So you really had fans. You had people yes, pulled up. That people day. pulled up, man. Yeah. I, you know I'm saying I booked the show. People came out. I got paid off of me hustling. You know what I'm saying? That's like, dope. Walked out with cash. And yeah. The thing is, bro, like I said, bro, I'm all about my kids. So I took that money. Made that shit on a Friday. That Sunday, I took my kids to motherfucking Urban Air. That's what it's about. You know what I'm That's saying? That's what it's about. Like, That's what it's about. And I be showing them, like, yeah. you know, they all into all the money challenges and shit. Yeah. I be showing my son, like, look, man, this your daddy hustle. He work. It's $5,000 right here. Yeah, bro. yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I yeah. want it's him a, to see that. Yeah, yeah. See if and I see. ain't doing nothing illegal. Like, right, right. It's you got to bring it to bring it to the level that yeah. they understand. Because that's Definitely. what they seeing. Yeah, it's a new world, bro. It's a new Definitely. world. That's so what, what, what we promoting right now, though, man? You know what I'm saying? No, it's been a minute. You Ooh, know what I'm saying? Man, what, yeah, what we got yeah. hot in the press right now, though. You yeah, know what yeah man. Shit, man. I got an album called Tried and True coming out June 12th. Tried and True. Um, I we, had where, al- you got, where you got the title from? Um, shit, man. My producer, man. He, uh, Nate Quest. Shout out to Nate Quest. He from <coughs> Columbus, too, bro. I got a lot of Columbus connects, bro. Okay. He's up here in Atlanta, man. Um, We did an album called Good Ain't Good Enough last August. Um, You know, it did fairly decent for an indie artist. But he was like, look, I want to personally executive produce your next album. Okay. I got an idea. It's called Tried and True. Once he said that shit, I said, bro, I'm all ears. What's up? That's mm-hmm. hard. So we came up with the with the title, um, and we just ran with it, bro. What's, you know what what's the single off of it? Oh, uh, shit, man. We, what you pushing right now, right now? bro. Honestly, I got a song called At- Atlanta Enough. Ain't Atlanta Enough. Ain't Atlanta, <laughs> Ain't Atlanta <laughs> Enough. And it's crazy because... In the hook, I'm just saying, like, you ain't Atlanta enough, you know what I'm saying? You ain't scheming and scamming enough, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Squeezing that hammer enough. Yeah, okay. But I was talking to myself because I've always heard that, like, bro, you fire, but you ain't, yeah. the music ain't Atlanta enough, yeah. you know what I'm yeah. saying? So I laid the hook, and niggas was like, oh, this shit kind of cool. Yeah. Like, like yeah. the street niggas are like, yeah. y'all niggas ain't Atlanta enough, yeah, you know like what I'm saying? That. And I don't yeah. even do none of that shit, but I'm really referring to myself. Yeah. But you know, music is subjective. However you take it, I'm cool, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's like, hard. That's hard. So that's the single we pushing. Um, I got my little brother here, Cozy, man. We got a song called Sneaky Link. Um, and it's just talking about, you know, fucking with a little side chick, man. It's yeah. on a little we Maxwell all can sample. To that. Yeah. <laughs> it's on a Maxwell sample. It's really cool, okay. man. Like really sexy, hey, that's what the man. game and I you know, I'm glad you said that. Talk that's what the game me. at. Yeah. I think you know, 
it, it shows a more creative control because every they were sampling back in the day. Don't get it De- twisted. Definitely. In the nineties and the two thousands, they definitely. were still sampling old Sample shit. Like a it was, but now it's to a perspective of they we, the R and B samples yes. is going crazy. The crazy. old school, I agree. You know what I'm saying? The R and B samples going crazy. On crazy right now, man. I agree. I agree. I, uh, and that song, man, it's a little different from the the Atlanta enough got a little trap vibe. I'm still being myself, uh, but it's the sneaky link. It's it's a whole different vibe, man. My producer Nate Quest made the beat. He was in the studio with with Cozy, and Cozy uh, they Facetime me. He was like, "Bro, Cozy got a cool little hook for this shit." He gave me the beat, and I was like, "Bro, I don't know what to do with this shit." Yeah, yeah. He came with the hook. I was like, "That's it, bro." And we should start writing. Yeah, it. yeah. It what it is. Yeah, that's hard, bro. That's hard. I was gonna, I was gonna say, I, I know you were saying that you were in Columbus, yeah, pushing that thing like crack, yeah, no, not crack, literally, yeah, no, yeah. no, for um, real. So how was you? How you been pushing your music during the pandemic, man? Like, um, because we not really closed. I mean, you know, we not really closed. Facts. Um, bro, I took a, you know, and honestly, bro, you know, shit, I was a nine to five nigga, man. Yeah. Um, and I respect that. Nigga. You know, hey, yeah, man, I stacked up my money, um, and uh, I quit my job. Uh, I was just tired of it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I worked my one with my producer, man, just hustling, bro. Just being on being on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Just we, I had a lot of time. And honestly, bro, I was working with foster care kids, so I was able to work from home. And um, I was just finagling that shit, bro. I just was like not doing work, but still getting paid. Yeah. Stacked up my money and was able to walk away from that shit and yeah. create a whole little vibe for myself, yeah. man. You gotta get outside. Just now. took, yeah, yeah. Got, yeah. And I just took a leap, man. I yeah. just, you know, took 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 a chance on myself, bro. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I just, you know, just just hustled, bro. Just dope. just hustled. You are. Uh, That's dope. That's dope. It- What's more important to you? This is my new question, Vito. This is my new million dollar question, bro. <laughs> uh, what's more important to you, being seen or being heard? Mm. Shit, being heard, bro. That was a good question. Yeah. Would you rather be seen or would you rather be heard? That's, uh, that, instead of what's more important? First, because both of them gonna happen, being seen and heard, but you know, it's a it's a new, would you rather be seen first or heard first? <coughs> Ooh, boy. Um, <coughs> we just talked about that shit outside, man. I was, uh, <coughs> Rick Ross had did a podcast and he was talking about shit, man. I'm gonna look at a nigga and just see what his image looked like first. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then yeah. go from there. Okay. So being seen is definitely, I'm torn between the two, honestly, but being seen is very, very important. You know, especially especially in this time with social media and all this. Facts. So many niggas yeah, trying to rap. Question, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. there's so many niggas that rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of niggas who can rap, but they just don't know how to market themselves. That's, that's, you know what I'm saying? The, so I will say that's image is everything. So being seen first, I think is more vital to me now. If you were to ask me this question when I did 30 and broke two years ago. Being heard. Heard, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's so, right. So yeah, yeah. image I'm, is everything, bro. I'm the same everything. way, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> everything. That's, between, that's, that's the difference between me and Vito. Fair. Vito is more on the scene than me. So he's way more seen than me. Got gotcha. you. You know what I'm saying? But I may be more heard just because I've probably been here just a little long. You know, gotcha. I've just been doing little curves, but he's more seen than me, you gotcha. know what I mean? But that's. That's a that's a kid that I have to break. Right. I have to be more seen. Like you said, I'm not a fine nigga too. Right. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Like it's nothing wrong with your hustle to sacrifice your passion. Nothing wrong with a damn job. You know what I mean? It's not, and I tell these young artists that all the time. Yeah. You know, especially these little niggas now. Like, bro, you gotta get the money from somewhere. Yes. Studios bro. ain't cheap. No. The damn show ain't free. studio time. No. Nah. Yeah, you gotta have at least five hundred dollars a month. And that, I mean, two weeks. I'm gonna even say a month. Every nah, two weeks. No, you're right. I'm gonna say a month. And I I'm say, say a month. And let me say I'm this, say bro. Because a, a lot of niggas be, you know patchwork all that shit and I say bro you got to do what works for you yeah you got to find your niche yeah like I recorded my all my albums out of a basement in Lithonia bro ain't wrong with that and the sound is amazing yeah, yeah. Still- I said I'll go to these big studios to take pictures and make it look like and yeah. I don't give a fuck like I'm saying this on camera yeah I'll make it look like it's something yeah, yeah. but nigga I'm in the trenches I'm in the dungeon nigga that's, like that's, what that's where find. I'm at like that's, that's I got like five features on my album and they all did it there and every all them niggas appreciated that shit because it was just it. a home feel I'm in that bitch smoking you out we're gonna watch sports center before all that shit in the basement and we're gonna get in there and work like that's what that's what it is that's, that's where you found the sound it's yeah like a lot of it's like a lot of artists are changing the whole like everything has changed <clears throat> the way we record right everything the way we push the music a lot of artists don't even like to go to the studio yeah. right it's funny to hear you say that yeah artists would rather be in a basement yeah and record and then you got the the eyeball mics and yes the programs that make your shit sound just as good get you that engineer yeah the yeah. master that motherfucker yeah. we right. good yeah 
That's like, dope. And, and the people that's in these studios, the people that's in the studios working at these major studios, they were found at their original spaces. First. Come on, yeah. you know at the crib. They was found at Come on, now. at the crib. How the fuck do you think these labels and people heard of them first? Come they, on, now. they heard of them at these original spaces first of what they was cooking up. Yep. You know what I mean? So it's 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 about Absolutely. how you give and take it. You know, especially coming out of Atlanta, Georgia. Definitely, man. You know I mean? Definitely. Uh, but, um, you know, we got this part of the show. Ah. That we got to get some motherfucking uh, some bars about you. You know what I'm Brrr. saying? You know what I'm saying? We used to drop a beat. You know what I'm saying? We used to drop a beat, but we ain't gonna drop a beat no more. We just going straight we at it. We are compelling it today. We are compelling <clears> it today. You know what I'm saying? We need that shit off the mic. Thirty seconds. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's a goddamn something off the project coming up. You know what I mean? But this is that on the spot mode. You know what I'm saying? You an artist? Okay. Let me think. Um, Memorial artist. Day weekend. How you feeling? Ooh, boy. We got stuck in the beat though. We got stuck in some originals. I got some producers too. And shout out to the producers. I know I'm gonna start get some original beats, yo. And we could, we could. Like, that's that's shit. smart. Yeah. Cause like making it. a nigga, because everybody, you know what I mean. I, I mean everybody can rap, but I'm just saying, like I think a beat just put that mold. For sure. That vibe, they do. You know what I mean. Yeah, we're gonna do a beat next time. Fuck that. Yeah, I got some originals. Um, let me see. Damn. First, 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 first. Um. How you feeling? Yo, let's do it. Y'all ready? We ready. Here you go. Stay out of the way, cause a nigga be chilling. We don't be doing the hanging. I don't be thugging and no, I don't bang, but know what I mean? A nigga ain't dangerous. Low key, oh shit. Okay, bring it real back, freestyle. Bring it back, bring it back. Nigga real ain't back. dangerous. <laughs> nah, he ain't right. Freestyle, he ain't right. He ain't right. <laughs> right. We, we know now. We know he ain't right. We know, let's get it. Oh shit. Oh. 20 seconds left, but we need it. Yeah, hey. Yo. Mm, 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 Memorial mm, Day weekend. Hey. Hey, damn. Boy, y'all got me on the spot. Nah, man. <laughs> that's the point. That's the point. Hey, that's this what it's about. You know, we ain't gonna we ain't gonna fry you like that. We ain't gonna, we ain't fry, gonna fry you. Fry, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's, it's the separation. Don't forget. I I stay out of the way cause a nigga be chilling. Look, we don't be doing the hanging. Mm. I don't be thugging and no, I don't bang it. That don't mean a nigga ain't dangerous. Mm. Yeah. Pray daily to the boy and manger, cause I'm surrounded by the fallen angel. Social distance from the fuckery. No, no, don't talk to strangers. Whooping ass, I'm a power ranger. Look, Walker, Texas, hold all of that. Low yeah. key, nigga, all of that. Stay strapped, nigga, nigga, dangerous. Yeah. In this bitch, yo. Real freestyle, real freestyle. I like it. I like it. He got it together. He got it together. You heard it here first, together. God damn it. You heard it here first, he got God it damn it. He got it together. But that just, that just shows, you know what I'm saying? But it shows you the, it shows you the, yeah. the difference between, like, Artists is that do come up here and you can yeah. tell it because they they be resp- they be that spell. Oh, this nigga might try to be so, but no, nah, you really yeah. freestyle. We can tell, you know what I mean. I respect. It. I like that. I, I respect it. I respect it. But so, what video can we take people to on YouTube right now to see? Mm, don't forget. Um, yeah, that's hard. I want to see that. I just wanna Camera I crazies. Um, R.P. Kobe. Um, Devil is a lie. Um. Mm. Damn, that's four. Okay. Uh, I got a one with the uh, artist named Beehive called Letter to Luther. We shot it out in front of Martin Luther King's house, man. Mm. That's hard. That's a, it's a cool song, bro. That's hard. That's, um, hard. that's hard. I think it's one of my hardest verses. Uh, it's a cool, cool song, bro. A song with meaning. Got a nice little Atlanta trap feel to yeah. it too, as well. I, I could tell by your freestyle, you really a pen and pa- pen and pass still type of writer. So yeah, you, I you, am, bro. You know how these artists, you know how to punch in rap. You know how to punch in rap. And I, but you know what? It's funny because on the on the, the, the latest album, I tried to punch in a little bit on certain things because I like the feel of that, just on the spot kind of like yeah, the way I'm yeah. trying to drag my words and yeah. stuff, man. Just. You know, art is just art, bro. So it's right. just like I try the new things. If they work, I'm gonna keep them. If not, I'm gonna just put them. I just hate them. when the artists say they don't write. I mean, I say they don't. Write. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, I write, nigga. I, right, uh, <laughs> nigga like they don't write. I, like, I, yeah. I get it. I get the Lil Wayne. That's so much work on the engineer, though. That with that punching work. in, re- yeah. recording, deleting. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. You gotta have you. That's a lot of time. So oh my yeah. god. Yeah. So, uh, but I like the uh, any closing marks from you, Vito. That you got to say. I think you dope, bro. I definitely want to see more of you, bro. I, I think that it's it's a, it's it's definitely um, a shift in the artistry coming from the South Side for sure. So, Clayco yeah. fucking them up or yes, the yes, South yes, Side sir. period yes, fucking them up. So, man, big things for you, twenty one on Yeah, man. Appreciate you, bro. And um, what what can you leave? Cause you did say you, you know you be around. You know you're a mo- you're a motivator. You're a mentor. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Um, you may have some kids. You may have some of your students that's gonna probably see this interview. You yeah, know what yo, I'm man, shit, man. What, can, what, what words can you leave for the ones that's you know that's following? You know what I'm saying? That follows you. Man, shit, man, just follow your heart, man. That that voice, 
inside your voice, man, just follow that. Like a lot of times people run from that and tend to do things that they really don't want to do. And that's where that mental health and, you know what I'm saying, that mm. frustration builds up, man. Just do what you feel like that's what's inside of you, man. That's really God talking to you, man. That's so, real. That's real. Y'all, 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 y'all listen to God, man. Listen to yourself, man. Believe in that shit for real, for real. Dope shit, man. All right, man. You know it's live hip hop, Dilly man. DJ Larry Love, DJ, DJ Vito, Vito, man. Jelani Will. We out of here, man. I appreciate y'all.